everyone, this is Jagger here with Rusher's Toys and today I'm bringing you a special video and this is uh, near and dear to me and it's the Jurassic World Dominion uh, toy line that came out in 2022 and I want to go through the top 10 products that I highly recommend for you guys to add to your collection if you don't already have these and if you do and you're missing some of them I still recommend that you add these these others to your uh your collection in my opinion these are the these are the toys that are going to be worth more in the uh long run but as well as they also are just like my highly recommended ones that Mattel released for the movie and I just want to start with we're going to go in and we're just going to start with the minis you know these were the uh the miscellaneous where you get the two packs and I can still, I will post the links in the description below where you can still get the minis at in the two packs, as well as the, uh, the, I want to say there's a 12 pack or a 15 pack, but I'll post the link in there so you guys can get those. But the minis were really hard to find during the movie time. And like you got the, the Xenosaurus right here. This is one of them. And then you even have the, the T-Rex which came in a box by itself. But these were these were really hard to track down last year. And I know Mattel kept pushing out more and more of the minis, but you know, you can see that the minis were were a good part to go with the Colossals. But I just wanted to I wanted to show you guys that's one that I recommend. And then the next set I recommend is Kayla in the Pyroraptor. And you guys can see like this was the only way to get the Pyro Raptor before the Outpost Chaos playset. And I'll even do this for you guys if you don't already have it. Here is the DNA code. But I always thought the Pyro Raptor was one of the coolest dinosaurs for Dominion that was introduced. Even though it was a very short <laughs> movie time for him to have for the show. But he is definitely one of the cooler dinosaurs that was released for the Dominion line. And I recommend that you get him with Kayla because this is not the Battle Damage one. That is the Walmart exclusive. I actually prefer the regular one over the Battle Damage because I just, I'm not too big of a fan of that, that gimmick that Walmart has with theirs. And then, then you get Kayla and she comes with her, her shock stick. But then the other, the other human pack that I do think that you'll want to get is the man, the myth, the legend, Dr. Alan Grant. And he comes with the Dimetrodon. And let's look at the Dimetrodon. This is actually the first, I think, of the movie accurate paint from the movie for the Dimetrodon. This, in my opinion, is one of the cooler dinosaurs. And there's the DNA code if you don't already have it. This, in my opinion, was probably one of the better releases because the mold reminds me so much of the 1993 Dimetrodon. And, you know, I'll, I'll bring Grant up next. And Grant comes with a dinosaur skull, which he never, I don't think he really threw it or used it as a weapon. But let's just put that down. And then you guys can see Grant. This was the only way to get Alan Grant in the Dominion toy line was to get him with the Dimetrodon. And like I said, I will be posting links in the description so you guys are still able to get these. They are, the Dominion line is not, um, it's not produced anymore, but stores do have a lot of the stuff still available. But I want to go into one of the, one of the coolest ones that was released. This was the Walmart exclusive. Extreme Damage uh, Allosaurus. And you guys can see, you got the purple tongue. This actually was probably the better size Allosaurus that's ever been released from Mattel so far. And I'll show you guys. Here's the code, in case you don't already have it. Then what we have is we have the Extreme Damage, so you can go like that. And then you can lift the rib cage up, and then you can fill the the rubber, the rubber guts. But I thought this was actually one of the cooler releases. 
And this guy is this guy is starting to actually show back up in stores. We saw this at our uh, at our Walmart, and you guys can see that in the video that we posted earlier this week of uh, being in the stores. And you can see that the extreme damage are still in stock. This guy was really hard to track down last year, and he is available still this year. And he is definitely one to add to the collection. Um, let's go to. I want to show you guys. Um, this three pack here. This was a, uh, this is a Target exclusive and Target still does have it in stock, but the only way to get the Carnosaurus was to get this battle pack, the Owen escape pack from Target. He comes with a motorcycle, which is actually really cool, but I really like the fact that you can get the two Atrociraptors in this instead of having to buy them in the attack pack separately. But my only thing is, is my only complaint is, is the Carnosaurus should have been the size of the Fallen Kingdom release. So it could go with the Allosaurus. Because in the movie, Carnosaurus is much bigger. And I don't even know what kind of paint job this is. I think this was supposed to be the juvenile Carnosaurus that, that eats, I want to say, a human. In the uh, in the, the scene where Owen takes on the, the other guy in the leather coat, that rain. But I wanted to show you guys this because I do highly recommend this pack because for $29, this was such a good deal. You get three dinosaurs, a motorcycle, and Owen. And then before we get into the big dinosaurs, we've got two more. You got Claire and the Dilophosaurus. And I do really think that this is one that you want to add. These ones I did not open because I really, Claire was harder to find at the time when the movie came out. So I didn't do an unboxing for this, as well as like you saw the motorcycle pack or the Atrocer after release, which I'll show next. But Claire was really hard to find, so I kept her sealed in the package. But the Dilophosaur seemed to be really popular during the release of Dominion because he finally was making a comeback in the movie. But I do highly recommend this. This set here I have seen right now go go for about $10, which is a really good deal for these guys. And like I said, definitely one to add to your collection because the Fallen Kingdom Dilophosaurus uh, has been averaging about $40 to $60 on eBay. So definitely something to add to your collection. And then let's go to the, the final Atrociraptor. This release and Rampage set, another Target exclusive. But what made this one really cool is, is you finally had a crate to put the Raptor in, which was really cool. It comes with, uh, I want to say her name's Sonia. I, I haven't seen the movie for a while, so I apologize if I butchered her name. But she comes with a shock stick and that, that button to release the Raptors. But this, I really thought, was such a cool set because they finally gave you a cage to put the Raptor in. Um... Highly recommend this as well. This is one of those packs that you definitely want to get. These these Target exclusive packs they seem to seem to have come with uh, higher higher quality of stuff in them, and I definitely encourage that. Um, Want to add to the collection. And now let's go through. This is the one that I do recommend. Um, it seems like the the Therizinosaurus. If I butcher its name again, sorry. Not a paleontologist, but this is definitely one to add to the collection. I know that they came out with a uh, three-pack at Target. They include Ellie Sattler, but I will admit, as a collector, I did not buy the $130 pack just for an action figure when you already had the dinosaurs. But I really thought this was one to one to add and let me let me get the code going for you guys so you guys can see this so there's the code if you don't already have it to scan into your phone but then you can see like it's got all these features i think the electronic dinosaurs always do so well and they're definitely the bigger ones to add to the collection this guy has gone down in price recently as well um, I want to say he's averaging about 24 to 27, but definitely one to add to your collection because I don't believe that you will see Mattel remake this at all or even repaint it and put it out in the Dino Trackers line. But now, the ones I've been waiting for is... I 
I have been debating about this, but in my opinion, this is still, I want to say, the best T-Rex that Mattel has ever released. I don't know what it is, but there's something with this, or even over maybe the Hammond collection for me. You guys might think I'm crazy, but I wanted to give you that code first. But when you look at this with just the camera, look at the paint on that. I think it has a better paint job than the Hammond collection, definitely. The features on it are just so cool. And I mean the detail. Look at the detail on, on the, the sculpt. The head. This is just, I, I just think that this T Rex here, this one is Mattel's, Mattel's version of the Thrasher and Bull T Rex for me from The Lost World. Just right up there with it in terms of what it can do. I know that the legs don't move that much, there's no rubber, but there's just something with this guy. And we you know I was trying to really. I just looked the other day and I was like, you know, that this T-Rex still, I think, is the best sculpt that they've released. Best paint, best sculpt. But then, we'll go to the number one, in my opinion, of the entire Dominion line that came out. I have to say the Giganotosaurus is probably my favorite release of the detail. I'm not going to say it's the best toy that was released overall, but it's the best detailed dinosaur that was released. And I say that because when you look at this, you can see all the skin textures, all the damage. And I know when I did the unboxing on this last year, I was a little hard because the paint was flaking. And I really had to take a step back and think about it. And, you know, I really hope that Mattel releases a full version without this gimmick and I'll go through this toy again and let's see guys let's give you the code first there's the code but I just I really like I mean I like the this gimmick here was my only complaint because I just I just didn't think that was a good gimmick but when you, when you see this, such a, such a cool, such a cool toy. And I think this is probably the, the one to add. This and the T-Rex, in my opinion, are the, the two you definitely should add to your collection if you don't already have them. And like I said, we have videos of each of these for unboxing. And you guys can find those. I'll add them in the channel here as well. But I want to know, what do you guys think of our top 10 uh, recommendations? Do you guys already have them to your collection? Or are you still looking for them? Like I said, we will post these in our description below with the link so you guys can still order them. And the cool thing is, is like I said, the Dominion line, they are discontinued. But you can still get these toys. And actually, the best part is you'll be able to save some money because the stores are... Are slowly getting rid of them to get in line for the Dino Rivals and the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. But I just wanted to see your guys' opinions and if you guys agree with our top 10. And um, please send us your comments and questions. And we want to thank you guys for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to our channel. Thanks so much for watching this. Have a great day.